Do you want your tea? Positivity. Like your mug says, shall we kick this vlog off with something positive? Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, we thought it's been a while since we've sat down and had a little bit of a chat. Um, so we thought we'd uh, pop the kettle on and, yeah, update you on a few things that have been happening. So mm. we've got we've got a moving house update. You've all seen from our vlogs, we have been all over the country, travelling, seeing houses, and uh, we have a bit of an update for that. We do. We've got a general, like, parenting update. So I have almost fully stopped breastfeeding. That has been, that's taken over our lives this past week. It's been a real commitment because Rupert is 19 months old and he's still going and he's, he was absolutely obsessed with it. Um, but I found a really, really clever way of doing it. And a very good trick. So, so clever. I'm going to share it with you all in case there's any other mummies out there whose toddlers are just, you know, <laughs> hanging off them. We're singing at a wedding in a few we weeks. Are. We've That's... been practicing lots for that. I can't wait Getting for everything sorted. We've obviously uh, played at a few weddings in the past. Um... But with that, I got some new technology to help oh, me with that. So indeed. we're actually going, we're using it here. I don't know if you can see, a proper <laughs> mixing board. Um, it's absolutely amazing. It's actually what we're going to be using for songs, recording songs, yeah. covers, um, to try and lift the quality, to yeah. elevate, elevate the quality. Elevate the quality. Yeah. But speaking of new technology, so some of you may be watching this vlog will have tuned in to Lovely. our epic fail that was our first youtube live session we did a live stream last week last friday night uh we didn't have a vlog we sat down a load of you tuned in so thank you for to those who did yes. um if you didn't click the notification bell and you will get notified when we go live because <laughs> we want to do it more but as megan said it was a bit of a fail technology failed us Jamie's laptop has all but died. Um, it's making it very impossible to do things, even work stuff. Oh, it's awful. It makes such a noise in the background. Often a lot of our videos, you'll hear like a, a whirring. But yeah. if you listen, I don't hear it. Well, that's because... I th well, I think we cried happy tears when yeah. it actually arrived. A subscriber... Um, Maybe we won't mention their name, keep them private. I don't. No one's going to be able to find anything. They did say they didn't need a shout out, but um, it was Chris, Bethany and their little girl called Abigail, oh. who is, I think, a month younger than Rupert. Yeah. They're kind of going through the same thing as us. Um, anyway, they reached out literally right after the live stream and said, you know, thank you for trying to you know, put the effort in to try and do a live stream. Um, and then I mentioned that it was the laptop that was giving up. I mean, it was pretty obvious from the live stream it was the laptop. Anyway, he very, like, incredibly kindly said, I've got a spare laptop that I'm happy to send to you guys. And we were just like, is this a joke? Like, it's hard to know what we people... Didn't, we didn't think it was real. And, uh, and I was chatting back and forth with him, and he had a brand new MacBook Pro... And lo and behold, was it like Tuesday morning? Yeah. It turns up at the office. It turns up. And honestly, already it has massively changed Amazing. doing anything. Um, recording music that we've done recently. I've been practicing and playing around with this uh, mixer. Everything is dead silent. It runs perfectly. So thank you the so much. biggest biggest thank you we it's have the incredible. most amazing subscribers a lot of you follow us uh, and it is it do, it's amazing yes. thank you but that was just on another level a brand new macbook pro it was and wanting nothing in return so again chris and the family thank you thank you so much thank you guys right then shall we go into a bit of a house update let's do it yeah so i feel jay i feel like i'm doing a bit of a u-turn i've th i've had a bit of a wobble recently a big wobble. I'm I'm questioning everything. Not not the sale of the house. That's hopefully all going through. That's going through. Fine. But sort of where we're going to live, where we're going to go, what we're going to do. Mm. It's a tricky <sighs> one. I love it around here. I think recently, because I've been so poorly, really under the weather, I've appreciated having everything on my doorstep. Being able to walk to so many different parks. The pharmacy, the shop. Take Cafes. Rupert for some fresh air at the park mm. because I don't have the energy to do anything else. I don't need to get in a car and go anywhere. And for me, the worry is that even moving close to Stamford, you know, we don't want to be in the centre of Stamford, mm. I don't think, because, you know, we want a little bit more space for Rupert to run around. But even being on the outskirts of Stamford, we need to get in a car to go anywhere. And that really is starting to It's just a complete, me. a massive change. So just not sure i'm ready for it mm. 
And I'm also starting to question still being quite far away from family. Yeah, that's the thing. We're, we're moving closer to grandparents and further from your sister. And I feel like my sister is the one that we need to be closest to. I'm just had a bit of a wobble. I think a lot of it has stemmed from the fact that we haven't found anywhere and we're not even close to finding anywhere. We've spent, you know, an entire day. Well, for the past two weeks, we spent two Wednesdays doing like a five and a half hour round trip to go and view like one house or like two houses. And they just haven't been right at all. We've um, had really high hopes. And then when we've got there, there's certain things that kind of like non-negotiables that we've just been like, no, that's. That's not going to work for us. We went to view a bungalow last week. The reason why we went to go and view it is because it has half an acre of land that comes with it out the back. And it's got potential to build a second property in the garden that we could use as maybe Jamie's office, an Airbnb, that kind of thing, like an annex. And an extension to the house. And it also, yeah, it also came with the opportunity to do an extension to the actual house. Um, so we thought that's an exciting project. But it was right next to a train line and we were in the garden and you just heard the train go choo choo and then it just like goes straight past and we thought oh it's a quiet line it might just go maybe like once or twice an hour it was a bit more frequent than it was that. yeah that was and the whole point of us leaving london is to get a little bit more peace and quiet yeah so it was a no and and i think we'd pinned a lot of hope on that house because we saw the potential in it because it was so close to Stamford. Yeah, we'd spent a few evenings like doing floor plans and what could happen. And I was speaking to an architect already of like, what could we do? What could, could we not? Uh, so yeah, we, we went there with high hopes and left. None Feeling wiser. a bit deflated. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're just very much back to square one. Um, don't really know what to do, where to go. But yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit sad and emotional about leaving this part of London and mm. moving a- away from my friends. There's pros and cons on all sides and it's yeah. just like, it's a lot of stuff going on at the moment Yeah. in our minds. But the house is sold, we are moving, just don't know where. Yeah, I've been like this, I've been up and down and up and down with it all. So it's, yeah, it's a lot. Anyway, I mentioned it earlier, but this week we have been weaning, I say we because it really is a team effort. Um, we've been weaning Rupert off um, breastfeeding. I have been absolutely dreading this. I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. He turned one and I was like, no more. You know, I want my body back. That was August. And then it got to, <laughs> what was the next? Christmas? Christmas. I was like, like he's going to definitely be stopped by Christmas. <laughs> I won't be breastfeeding him at Christmas. And to be fair, he was a little bit ill and we were like, well, let's just, you know, it's, it's great for him. He loves it. And then we were like, I okay, by the ski excuse. holiday, the family ski holiday, <laughs> we're going to see he's going to stop before what, end then. of February? Yeah. I was still breastfeeding him. And it was just getting to the point where obviously he's, you know, he's a toddler now. He can communicate, he can speak. So he's very strong and, and strong-willed in like wanting it. So it's not just, you know, he does this, this sign for Milky. He was really pulling at my top, ripping at my top, um, putting his hand down my top all the time in like public places at home, you know, five, six, seven times a day. He was getting really moany and upset at night time, first thing in the morning because he just wanted it for comfort Mm. because my supply has reduced massively. Like I would say it's 90% for comfort, 10% for extra nutrition, a bit of milk. Um, So I went online to search for some help, some tips from other mums who may or may not have sort of gone through a similar thing. And one mum said, I put plasters over my... Plasters. You know what's. Plasters, sorry, plasters, plasters. And I told my toddler that mummy had owies. So because Rupert's at an age where he can understand everything, I tried it and I was like, what have I got to lose? You know, he needs to understand that there's a reason why I can't do it. Yeah. So we have gone from him pulling at my top like all day, every day. I put plasters on myself once. I showed him once. I literally pulled my top down and I was like, Rupert, I'm really sorry, but mummy's got owies at the moment, so she can't feed you. And he just went, oh, okay. And he like had a little explore and he was like, okay, I get it. And he just ran off. Since then, he hasn't asked me for milk. Or once. if he if he if he tries, you go, oh, mummy's got owies. Yeah. And then he just stops. I, I mean, it is. It was instant. It was 
instant, Even absolutely when incredible. I used to put him to sleep, and just as I was putting him down, he would want mummy, and he would say mummy, mummy, and he would do that to me and look at the door. And I, I think the first night I was like, no, remember Rupert, mummy's got owies, and he just went, hmm, yeah, and I just put him down in bed, and he went to sleep. So Rupert is a great sleeper now, <laughs> never was. But he has never, ever gone to bed at night, unless I'm not here, which is quite rare. He's never gone to bed at night without having a little bit of breast milk. Mm. It's his one thing that like calms him the most before going to bed. Um, and it was just instant. Night one, it was mummy's got owies. I gave him a cuddle. He cried for maybe five minutes, mm. which was a bit unusual. Went straight to sleep. And the next night you put him down and you said mummy's got owies. And he was like, okay. And he just went straight to bed. So there's a tip for you. Yeah. A tip, a tip. for anyone who can't <coughs> get their toddler to stop breastfeeding or their child. Use plasters. Use plasters. If they're old enough to understand that. Yeah. You can't do that at six months old. So we're just doing one feed first thing in the morning now because I wanted to do it gradually. Um, I thought I was doing the best thing by not going cold turkey for myself because I didn't want to get like mastitis things which I've had before. Uh, what have I got? Mastitis. So it's, I'm I'm, it's pu- I'm putting on a brave face to get through this vlog, but truthfully, my whole body aches. I've just started antibiotics. It is the worst thing ever. The last time I had mastitis, I was in bed for four days. It was the worst I've ever seen you. I was so you were ill. Really, really bad. Thankfully, Even worse than when you had. I mean, these last few months yeah. have been tough for you. Um, with COVID twice. COVID twice. COVID twice. Um, norovirus. Norovirus. We both got hit with that, but I think you got hit a bit harder than me. So bad. Um, the eye. Mastitis. You had conjunctivitis. Start, yeah. It's just been nonstop. All the and, itises. And insomnia. Yeah, I'm struggling badly with insomnia. Um, I think for the past four nights, so I've got a really, really bad cough at the moment. And for the past four nights, I've probably had, on average, maybe two hours sleep. Mm. No exaggeration. It's just... It's crazy. I've been in the spare room. Yeah, yeah. It's and I truly love it. <laughs> It's truly, truly painful. So if anyone's got any tips on just getting well, please share them. But no, one feed in the morning so that I can sort of gradually peter out peter it out. And la- uh, tonight I put him to bed and he didn't even ask for mummy. No, he went straight to bed. Straight to bed. He was even pointing at his crib. Yeah. Saying he didn't say anything. He just wants to go to bed. So that's our parenting update. Illness aside, um, we're off to Wales soon. We are. We've In got fact, a Snowdonia trip. Before Wales, we've even got, we're off Easter. That's going to be fun. Yes. A nice little family Easter thing. Happy uh, Easter up north, to everyone. Up north in Lancashire. Two up, weeks later, yeah. we are then off to Wales. Uh, it's our niece's birthday. First, first birthday. birthday. And it was a very, very long way to drive. I think it's like a five and a half hour drive or something like that. Um... But a company reached out to us and said, would you like to come and stay in one of their cabins? And we so, were like, yeah. Of course. It was literally perfect. We said, are you free this weekend? The, obviously the weekend of the of the party. And we're off to Wales. I'm and so fingers excited. crossed, we obviously didn't do the zip line when we went skiing, um, which was a very long one. There's also one in Wales, which fingers crossed we'll be doing. Yes. I can't wait. Hopefully. It's literally our dream. So, you know, doing this channel... It's fantastic because you do get to work with some awesome companies who do brilliant things. But when we get a little message in our inbox saying, hey, do you want to come on a little trip? You know, the, I'm just like, yes, 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 pick me. Yeah, try to be cool about it. Yeah, try um, to be it cool. Was, it's their first time that they're sort of doing this for people online. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to show you. The location looks great. And the lodges look stunning. Lodges are really nice. Um, so great for holidays. So, yeah, we're doing that in a couple of weeks' time, yeah. three weeks' time. And then, was any of those on a bucket list? No, I don't think a zip well, line was. Well, I feel was... like we've discussed doing, like, Snowden, like walking yeah. up Snowden. Um, well, we might give it a go, but we are going to have Rupert with us, and yeah. he definitely can't come up. We do have family in the area, though, so if, if they can take him, then... We might give it a go. I think there's a train, but it's not open at the moment. But that's a big thing to look forward to. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're just, we're trying to focus on the positives. I think there's a lot going on at the moment. Me feeling terrible, um, sort of worrying about the house a lot. Um, you know, work is very up and down. It's, it's never easy. Every day there's always something. But we are, we're trying to focus on the positives. We have done a schedule for our YouTube stuff. 
Yes. We did that this week because we were like, let's actually lay out the next, what have we done, two months? Two months, two yeah. Two months, so. And one thing that we included was sort of like a like date night in London. But not just a date night, but sort of fitting in all the things that we really want to do as a couple that we haven't done yet. Yeah. Um, well, there's actually quite a lot. <laughs> there's loads. But yeah, we want to go for a nice, uh, a nice meal in Richmond. Mm. And we were actually talking a couple of days ago when we were in the office and Rupert was at childminding. We were like, we should be doing those trips now in the middle of the daytime going for lunch and then we're like we can work in the evening when Rupert's in bed but yeah it's just um because paying for paying for babysitters it's so expensive so much so it's like you go out for dinner and I don't know what's an average dinner 60 70 pounds something like that add on another 60 70 pounds for babysitting you've just doubled Double the cost of your night. We should do it in the middle of the day when Rupert is at nursery. Yeah, we were joking, saying that Tuesdays and Wednesdays should be our weekend. <laughs> like, that's when we actually get stuff done, when uh, Rupert's in childcare. Anyway, um, I'm sorry that was a little bit short and sweet, but I need to go to bed. <laughs> it was it was a good tester as well for my new machine. So, <coughs> yeah. at least we got that working, and soon there will be another live stream. We're going to do it. Ooh. When, um, I, when I've got my singing voice back. When you're back to sore. full health. Okay, that might take a while. Um, <laughs> it's never ending. But we will definitely make sure that that works through this machine. And again, thank you to Chris who sent us a laptop. Yes, this crazy you. world that we're in. <laughs> thank you. Um, anyway, that is it for this video. A mm-hmm. little sit down, a little chat with you guys. Let us know if you've got any questions in the comment section and you know we'll just carry on answering them. Yeah. Because I feel like we've just talked. We haven't actually answered anyone's questions. So let us know if you've got any. Um and like I said, if you are watching and you can relate to the breastfeeding story, just go out there and buy yourself some plasters because it really worked. It did. It was amazing. <laughs> see you next week everyone. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Like, subscribe and we'll see you next week. Au revoir. <laughs>